right, pizza review time. We're at Romo's. Is this in Glenville? Where is this? No. Where are we? Where are we? Huh? Might still be in Albany. No, it's not Albany. It's Glenville or something. Glenmont. Glenmont. Um, so this place is on the list, and let me tell you why. Because they want, and well, we have it. Like we can roll the footage. They won a huge pizza contest, a Caputo Cup in Naples, Italy. Best New York pizza was the category. So I was in um, Naples, Italy for yeah. the Caputo Cup. Okay. And they did um, a category, Pizza Americana, and it's basically like your best version of a New York style pizza. And you won that? I won it, yeah. Wow, that was recent, right? June. Yeah, because yeah. I start people start to hit me up. You oh, nice. must have been in the news, yeah. The guy set the bar so impossibly high. He's like, what I set out to do was create a mix between New Haven, Sally's, John's of Bleecker, Lucali, uh, De Lorenzo's. Basically, the best of the best. Take a little of all of them and make a super pie. So it's a the New York pie. style? New York. So I kind of... The dough is kind of New Haven-ish, yep. very charred on the bottom, charred oh, on the so crust. Hey, the top, top is top Brooklyn style, okay. cheese first, sauce on top, like your John's of Bleecker, yeah, yeah. Tonos, all those Yeah, guys. so a combo of John's of Bleecker and New Haven. Yeah, I try to create my own little combo. Those are big words. <laughs> those are big fight words. So here it is. And he says he has the New Haven bottom, John's of Bleecker top, it's a little bit fan. Well, I, that is how you win the Caputo Cup, by the way. You, it like stuff like that tends to be more artisanal. In looking at it, this is artisanal. You can see he's got like the oils and all that, so it is a little leaky, which isn't always my fave. Although it, that just moved light, which is a very good sign. So let's see what we got. I don't know if they cooked it the same as they always do. He knew everything about my pizza styles, so there's the undercarriage that we like. And that is a New Haven looking undercarriage. So let's see, Romo, one bite, everyone knows those. And again, the Caputo Cup's a nice thing. That trophy that I held in there, it's pretty, it's nice. This means more. Like, I'm not, no, all apologies, Naples and all the Caputo and the fly. This, this is, this means more. And he pretty much said, he's like, I did that to get your attention to get you here. So here we go, one bite. And he did get my attention. We built this trip around this place. Because when he won that award, everyone said, hey, you gotta go try it out. We know you're in Saratoga. Shoot on down. Here we go. One bite, everybody knows the rules. The little crowd behind make me nervous. Great crisp. Interesting. Okay. He nailed the New Haven part of it. Pretty good. This is the outstanding crisp. You can tell the way it's breaking. The undercarriage. The top is heavy. Like, it's great. But I definitely would put this into the artisanal category. Like, I can't eat this whole thing. I wouldn't be able to eat it. Slice or two. Check out. I'm gonna go. How do you want me to score this? Do you want to score me on how I personally like it or on the artisanal side? Because I can definitely. Nine, it's artisanal. Oh. Yes. It's like a heavier pizza. You think? Yeah, with the sauce and stuff, yeah. I mean, I still, I think that you got the New Haven down. I like the crunch, but it's heavy. You don't agree with that? Nah, it's a 10. You're there saying 10, I... It's a 10. It's a 10. I gotta go seven, nine. I, 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 I think it's really good, but it's it's a heavy art. He, he bolted. The, the owner, he's like, I hate that score. <laughs> I got to keep it how my scale is. If you're doing this Caputo Cup, I can see it higher, but it's too heavy for me to eat a ton of. I think it's very good. 7-9 is a really good score, but he bolted. He's on how I, it's, I don't love doing that, but I keep it on. 7-9, there it is. That's our view. Uh, Romo Pizza.
What's going on? All right, so I'm going to do the quick set the stage here. We already reviewed this place. Did the full review. Went back to my house in Saratoga. My man Anthony was stalking. Like, I no, no, he was stalking me. I, I walked back into my house. I hear Dave. I think it was like 9 a.m. Maybe 10. It was early. Comes, he's like, hey, you remember me? At first I didn't. He's like, Romo, it's just the pizza review. Then he's got his muscle pull up. His buddy pulls up like five minutes later, gets out. And they, 25 minutes in front of the house. Yeah. Emotional, welling up, FaceTimed his wife. She's crying. And here was the moral of the story. He's like, last time you were in here, I didn't get to tell the story of Romo. Like, I don't care about the review. Nothing like that. I didn't get to tell the story. It's like, come back. I need to tell the story. I didn't promise it. I want to say something super clear. I'm never doing this again. I can't encourage coming to my house. <laughs> I don't want that. But I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, I didn't even, I said I'll try to do it. No guarantees. And again, I want to say so clear, I'm not doing this again. So if you don't like or whatever, you didn't get your word out, tough. This is a one-time thing. I don't want people... I use the word stalking my house. He stalked me, but that's fine. We're here, so now I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, I'm gonna tell you the story, my upbringing, uh, in the pizza business in general. Um, I'm gonna get you to try my original New so Haven. So it is try, because I'm not rescoring. No, so I just want you to try my original New Haven. Okay. And my original. Which is what? Which is a little bit different. The one you had was like the one that I- what's it called on the menu though? The, just the New Haven. But the trying was when we met, you were much more like oh, story, yeah, 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 yeah. story, no, no. meet my mom, Absolutely. this, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. tears, the worst. It wasn't about <laughs> trying. No, I want to give you a little bit of everything. So you're here, yes. might as well do it. Austin, you may be right. You may have just wanted me to try the pizza, but I'm not going to rescore the pizza. The man was crying on my front stoop for 25 minutes. Elio was inside, and he's like, what was going on? I'm like, oh, a pizza man showed up, was crying at my doorstep. He's like, oh, my God. So I opened... Romo's back in 2009. Never made a pizza ever in my life. It was literally an 800 square foot spot. Can't see me from the road. And I basically was just like, you know what? I'm taking a shot. I was literally here every day by myself. You know, I was the phone person. I was the fryer guy. I was the sub and salad person. You know, my fiance started helping out on the weekends. My mother would help out when she could. My brother came to work with me. My other sisters would help me out when they could. So I did that. After about three years, um, we moved up front to where the lash bar is. Obviously, my mother, who, you know, when I was in my second spot, saw that I was getting really busy. And she was like, you need help. Because yeah. really, it was at that time, it was me and a few other people. And she's like, you need help. And I was like, oh, I know I do, but, you know, it's, it's tough getting people. So after about 20 years, of working um, in a florist, she was like, you know what, I'll leave there and I'll come help her. She puts a lot of stuff on her shoulders that she really doesn't need to just because I'm her son and she right. wants to she wants to help me out. For the most part, has been a single mother, you know, there's five of us, you know, she's worked multiple jobs throughout, you know, our childhood, you know, to make sure we had stuff we needed, you know, holidays to make sure we were good. I mean, the biggest thing, you know, I tell her all the time, you know, thank you, mom, this, that, and the other, but, you know, she deserves to, to know, like, on the broadest scale possible that, like, you know, she's been everything to me, my brothers and sisters, other family members and stuff like that, and, um, you know. So is that why you were, were crying on my doorstep? Well, I got emotional with that because, you know, um, I wasn't crying, but <laughs> I, I, I was holding back. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me say this on clear. He was crying. Like, like yes, he, yes, you were, like, choked up. And, yes, choked like, up, yes. Yeah. You know, my mother giving up basically her life so I can have an even better life, I can give my daughters a better life, you know, just means a lot to me. And, you know, I wanted to show her, you know, in the first review. And, you know, when you came in, I literally was like, like, I didn't know what to do. It was like the pizza god was walking in my door because right. I know the impact that you have on businesses and we you know we've been waiting for two years you know for you to come in and I've had it down like when he comes in I'm gonna tell him this I'm gonna tell him that and I just like froze. Mommy? Mom, no, yeah. Dave, 
Dave, this is Hello, Mom. Dave. Wait, we met last nice. time. We did. Yeah, briefly. I took pictures of you. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And he came and stalked me. <laughs> yes. I, well, you know, <laughs> you know, you're looking at, really looking at the world's greatest Yeah, you know, yeah. He dragged me out of my other um, profession. Yes. He said, come with me, Mom. So I did, and now we've been having a great time ever since. And most Very of the... Very proud of him. Though most of the theme when he, he was at my house was he felt like the original review... You didn't give you enough credit for everything. That seemed yes. to be yeah. so the gist of why he you know, wanted me back here. Me being nervous that he was there the first time, and, you know, um, really reviewing the Napoli and not like everything else that we have to do was part of the reason. Obviously, Brittany was part of the reason, but the main reason was I wanted you to get your shine and your deserve uh, for everything that you do for me, everybody else. And, yeah. It's, that was the reason it. that everybody I thought. Everybody does this. Everybody's here. You know? He wants to show appreciation. That almost made me tear up. But he wants to show appreciation for you, the which camera. is why he we is came. tearing up. Oh, that was, very, that was very cute. That was cute. It wasn't that we tried the pizza because we never do it. But he was very adamant. He Aww. wanted to give you. He didn't show the, like as much as he felt. So we drove 45 minutes. I and I was a little nervous because he had his muscles, his buddy show up at my house. I didn't know what was going to be going on. <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> How are you? Nice to meet you. You're more composed than last time. No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> when I, again, I can't, she was waterworks. No, I'm not, I'm shaking. The whole crew has done like a 180 in composure from when he started. Like there was tears, people were choked up, no one could talk, people were pulling up. Now everyone's like, oh, he's good to hear. It's okay. It's all right, here we go. What, are we, what is this one? So this I'm not rescoring. This one. You is, got your story. That's the new. This Haven. one is my original New Haven style. I'm not rescoring. Original. I do instead of sauce on the bottom, I do cheese and sauce on top. Great undercarriage. But if you know what I like. Well, when you came in and you started like, oh, you wanted Italy, I was, we were kind of, while well, we were making it, I guess it, we, we like, ordered, you didn't know we were, it was us, right? No, but then we were like, do we give him the one that I wanted in Italy, or do we give him, you know, the traditional one? one. So that one is I'm not one. rescoring, it sets a precedent, precedent is already so fucked up that I'm not gonna rescore it, but I'll say this, I much prefer this one to the one that I ate. Like, much more. That's a style. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the other one, you know, I geared that towards my trip in Italy. You know, I had a San Marzano blend, a, um, you know, buffalo mozzarella in it, you know, to try to fit that that competition, and, you know. You know, I saw it. I'm not rescoring it. This would float the gates with no problem. It's a thousand percent. And my taste buds, better than what I got the first time when you stormed off. I will say I saw your cousin like the next day at the track. That she told me. Literally. First she goes to me, she Comes goes running up, hey, you, this was an hour and a half after he stalked me. And I'm like, this fucking family. <laughs> it's like she came running up to me at the she track. She sends me a text and she goes, did you go to Dave's house today? I go, no. She goes, he just told me you did. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Sit down for maybe 30 seconds and the lady runs up. Hey, uh, you just reviewed my cousin's place, uh, Romo. I go, not only did I review it, he just stalked me 20 minutes ago. And she's like, oh. And she turned around and walked away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's great. Yeah, 100 times better. Again, I want to put you, you down the other it you No, no, because then such a bad president. But people I mean, you've done multiple reviews. So. Only only to be mean. Never go up. All right. So it's better than a 7-9. This will be in the original review. That's why we haven't put out the first one. Yeah. So you had to know I was coming when the first one didn't come out. Yeah, when I noticed that it hadn't gone out, I was like, you know, I'm going to come back and do something bigger. I already said this would sail into the ace. That's as good as you're getting from me. It's good. It's good enough for me. Because then I just feel like you use me. Like, no. you're propping your mommy and what just to get the ace. I'm not, I can't be emotionally black. Man. I appreciate you coming back. It means a lot that you just came back and got the story. And got to not get the nervous Anthony and uh, you know. I'm glad I came back. Thank you. Andrew. You'll make a great review. Thank, Thank you. you. And this is really great. It really is. This is great. This is really great. Thank you. It's great. I'm not gonna do it, but it's great. Thank you, dude. <laughs>